These are the hubs we offer for the GT all trains. And you have gold ones? I do have gold hubs. So you can paint them? Yes, you can. Um, so this is one brand, which is like a metallic gray. Um, still removable once it's set. You do a couple of layers, it comes out all right. It's a metallic gold, or as some people call it, bronze. <laughs> Um, again, same deal, a couple of coats, once it's dry and set, you can peel it off, it's removable like a vinyl. So, we want to make sure our hubs are nice and clean. These ones are fairly new, so they're not too bad. Um, you can get a lot of different chemicals for prepping, for painting. Um, any kind of like clear spirit or alcohol that will evaporate dry. Now that we have our hubs, two hubs ready to paint, get your paint. Make sure you shake it well. You just want to do a couple of light coats to start with. Once it sits for a couple of minutes, then we can do another little coat over it. And we do about probably anywhere between sort of three and five coats total. Letting them sit for a few minutes between each one to try and let them set. Key is just to do light thin coats to build it up. Don't try and do one big coat because it'll bubble and run, um, and then it's just not going to leave a nice coating at the end of it. So that's our second coat on now. We're going to let them sit for a few minutes again, just doing short sweeps uh, as we're spraying. Not too close, so it's not going to uh, run, and basically load up the hub. Uh, and we just want to keep the coating really thin, nice even layering around it as we work away on the rim. Each time I'm spraying it, I'm turning the hubs a little bit and make sure we're getting like even spots painting as we're going around it. Pick what you want to do, you can mix and match. I've seen people use two different colors in one hub and at the end of the day, it's all removable. If you don't like it, peel it off, do it again. So they take a few hours to set properly, but you can touch them after a few minutes. Nice and shiny. Nice.